Hey YouTube, this is a video on how to do punch needle and transfer a pattern. Um, first, you're going to need a piece of tracing paper, um, any brand, any kind, um, a picture that you want to trace. You're also going to need a, um, a pen, um, a transfer pencil. And then what you want to do is you want to lay your tracing paper on top of your picture that you want to transfer. And you're going to take your transfer pen and you're going to trace the pattern And you want to trace it pretty dark with your transfer pencil. You also want to make sure that you have a pencil sharpener available to you. Um, because transfer pencils are very soft um, lead in there. And you'll need a pencil sharpener to sharpen your pencil. If it gets dull. Um, so once you have your pattern all transferred you're then going to take your piece of material that you want to iron it on I'm using a material called weaver's cloth and it's actually for punch needle um, I don't know if you can see this very well. My lighting's kind of dark. But it's punch needle. It's a 20 by 24. It's white. Um, I got mine at Joann's. So um, I think it was like $6 for this piece. Usually I can get like... Um, actually, there's a price right there. It was $6.99. I can actually get like two patterns or four small. I prefer to do a larger pattern. Um, so after you have your design traced with your transfer pencil, you're then Okay, so after you have all of your patterns transferred, then what you're going to do is you're going to get your weaver's cloth and you're going to lay it down on the table and you're going to get an iron. You want a dry iron, um, no water in it. Um, then you're going to set your iron on a four. When I get that set up, I'll come back and I'll show you. Okay, now I have my piece of weaver's cloth laying on my table with a towel underneath. You want to take your iron and you want to iron it so that you get all the creases out of your fabric. Um, when using an iron transfer pencil, you want... Actually, it's better to have your fabric warm so the transfer goes smoother. So just keep, you know, going over your fabric, you know, until you get almost all the creases out of your fabric. It's not, you're not really going to see the creases anyway because when you punch needle, you're going to punch <laughs> and you won't see the creases unless you do not fill it all in, then you will see creases. So after I get my cloth ironed and get it really good and warm, then the next thing I do Let me just iron this a little bit more. Okay, so after I get my material ironed and stuff, I want to make sure that I get it centered. Then you're going to take your piece of tracing paper that you traced your design on. 
and you're going to put it so that the transfer pencil is facing the fabric like this to get it centered where you'd like to have it you can tape it down if you want I don't but this is what it looks like so I have it so that the part that I transferred on that I drew on is facing my cloth and what you want to do is you want to take your iron and you want to set it down on top of the paper. You do not want to slide the iron because what it'll do is it will make smear marks. And you just want to keep lifting it up. Sorry if I was out of focus. You just want to keep lifting it up. Putting it on the transfer pencil. <coughs> Excuse me. You just want to keep laying it on there until you have everything that you want ironed on. Now, I just let go of that and set it on there. But as you can see... The iron is wanting to slide because it is very, very slippery. And you just want to keep doing this for... I don't know, maybe a, a minute. Um, I know I said not to slide it, but I have to slide it because I'm holding my tablet with one hand and I'm trying to iron to show you exactly what I'm doing. So after you get it all ironed, You just want to lift up your transfer paper and take a peek. Now, a lot of mine has come out, but there's some spots where it didn't. So what I'm going to do is put the iron back on it. And hold it there in place for a couple seconds. Making sure that I have. Now, I mean, it's not a big deal if you, you slide it and it bleeds or it moves because you're going to punch and fill it in anyway. But. It just makes it harder to see the lines, you know, where you're where you're supposed to punch. So anyway, keep going and get it all ironed, and then slowly lift it. And there is my butterflies on my fabric. Now all you need to do is put your fabric on a hoop. And start to punch. So when I get that step done, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and um, ready to punch needle. So I'm going to start probably down here with the smallest butterfly. And I like to start with the center. So,
and uh, there you go. That's um, that's how you do it. I mean, it's simple as that. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe. Um, click the like button if you have any questions. Please ask. Um, I know my videos aren't too great, but I'm not big into cameras, so I just basically wanted to share my knowledge of what I know. But there's other ways to do it, so you just have to find your own preference. So. It, like I said, if you like this, click like and share. Thanks. Bye.